Hello everyone. I am Dr. Shri Vanilla. Today's topic is gingival cyst of adult. Gingival cyst of adult. It is an uncommon, small, non-inflammatory developmental cyst of gingival soft tissue derived from the rest of the dental lamina and is made up of embryonic epithelium consisting of cuboidal cells. It occurs on free or attached gingiva. Etiology and pathogenesis. Proliferative epithelial tissue. Degenerative changes in proliferating epithelial tissue can occur which will result in gingival cyst of adults. Remnants of dental lamina and enamel organ. Remnants of dental lamina, enamel organ or epithelial islands of periodontal membrane can also result in gingival cyst of adults. Trauma. Traumatic implantation of epithelium is also a causating factor. Post-functional rest of dental lamina. Gingival cyst can also arise from post-functional rest of dental lamina. Clinical features. Age and sex. It can occur at any age but most common in adults in the 5th and 6th decades of life with predilection for males. Sight. The location of the lesion closely follows that of lateral periodontal cyst. It is more common in mandibular premolar and canine region. Symptoms. It is slowly enlarging, painless swelling, less than 1 cm in diameter. It occur in attached gingiva or the interdental papilla. Appearance. The surface may be smooth. The color appear as normal gingiva or bluish. They may appear red when it is blood filled as a result of recent trauma. Swelling is dome shaped. Signs. The lesions are soft and fluctuant and adjacent teeth are usually vital during surgical exploration. Radiographic features. Superficial bone erosion. There may be no radiological changes or only a faint round shadow indicative of superficial bone erosion. Histopathology of gingival cyst of adults. These are thin epithelium resembling reduced enamel epithelium, 1 to 3 layers of flat to cuboidal cells containing darkly staining pycnotic nuclei and show perinuclear cytoplasmic vacuolation. Localized areas of thicker epithelium is seen. Attachment of the epithelium to the underlying connective tissue is tenuous and easily peels off, leaving epithelial discontinuities. Diagnosis. Clinical diagnosis. Bluish color swelling of gingiva which is dome shaped will suspect gingival cyst of adults. Radiological features. Bone erosion can be present. Laboratory diagnosis. Biopsy has similar features as that of lateral periodontal cyst. Difference between lateral periodontal cyst and gingival cyst of adults. First, in location. Lateral periodontal cyst arises in the periodontium and located in the interproximal bone between the apex and the alveolar crest. Gingival cyst appears as a dome-shaped swelling in the attached gingiva. Difference in radiological findings. First, gingival cyst. There is circumscribed radiolucency which occurs due to cup-shaped depressions on periosteal surface of the cortical plates which is produced by enlargement of the gingival cyst. In case of a lesion which has produced both gingival swelling and faint shadow radiolucency due to surface depression which indicates Gingival cyst. Lateral periodontal cyst. When the radiolucency is dark and sharply demarcated and the communication with the periodontium is indicated, then the lesion is more likely to be lateral periodontal cyst that has eroded outward. Round, ovoid or teardrop shaped well defined radiolucency with hyperostotic borders indicates lateral periodontal cyst next management surgical excision surgical excision of the lesion 
in adults is usually recommended and the lesion does not tend to recur. A neoplastic potential has never been reported. Thank you everyone. Hope you all like the video. Please like, share and subscribe.